today I will show you our small tiny RGB controller with which you can control an LED strip. I have mounted an LED strip behind the sideboard. This strip has 300 LEDs, is uh, 5 meters long. So it has uh, 60 LEDs each meter. All what you need is our RGB controller with a nano and also a gateway. This is this tiny gateway with the big antenna. You can use it also with a normal RF chip like this one. It's a smaller one and a cheaper one. But here you have a bigger range with this antenna. So what we have done is uh, create a Python script which is communicate with this RG, uh, with, with this uh, uh, gateway and each node, we call this node, uh, get uh, from this gateway or from Python script and from Box Commander an automatic ID. So in, in theory you can create 200 55 nodes and each node can have 255 child nodes so, so you can create in theory a lot of nodes like this one you can have a, a, a relay or a temperature sensor, a humidity sensor, different things, light sensors everything is possible also a motion sensor is a good thing our RGP controller can also use uh, a temperature sensor inside or a uh, motion sensor depends on how you want to use this this part but now I will show you how it works in the real life so let us start everything is controlled by Vox Commando with voice and my PC who controlled this strip is upstairs and the gateway is connected to this PC and communicate with the RGB controller here downstairs. So let us start and I will show you uh, what is possible with this RGB controller like you can change the color or you can fade to any color, you can set some uh, uh, effects like blinking or you can change the delay of this blink or you can blink in, uh, in different colors, you can dim the stripe, you can increase decrease the stripe to a level and there are many possibilities here with this RGB controller. It's, uh, we have uh, also a big Vox Commander command group for the RGB controller which has all inside also a, a map table uh, which has stored a lot of colors here and in my case I think 250 colors or more I am, I'm not really sure. You do not need so much colors, normally in the year 10, 15 different colors. But you can also create with Vox Commander by voice your own color and can save this in the map table, everything by voice. It works really, really well. And I will demonstrate some functions of this strip or RGB controller. Let us start. Computer, switch strip on. You can see the strip is switched on. So now you can change to any color. I'll show you how this works. Computer, change to color green. Computer, change to color red. Computer, what color is this? The current color is red with a light level of 100%. Computer, dim strip to 10. Computer, dim strip to 25. Computer, dim strip to 75. Computer, scale up strip 20. LED strip increased to 95%. Computer, scale up strip 10. The LED strip will reach the highest light level. Maybe you can switch your additional light on. So you can see it is a bit logic in Vox Commander, so Vox Commander know, knows when the light level has reached the, high, the highest level, like 100%, and give you some advice how you can switch uh, 
will give you an advice that you can switch another light on because you have reached the highest level. The same is when you reach to the lowest level. And uh, now I'll show you some effects with the RGB controller like in Blink. Computer Blink in color green. So it's a really slow blink. You can set the delay for blinking also by voice. Computer set delay 10. Computer set delay 25. And now you can also change the blinking color uh, without uh, hold the delay or stop this, this attack. So you, I can, you can say Computer, change the color blue. And now the strip is blinking blue. You can also say uh, that you can uh, stop the effect. Computer, stop effect. And it stay with the last uh, color which you have uh, chose in the box command. So it is possible to fade to a color. So there are two options. You can fade multiple to a color. So box commander change the for the RGB controller change the color from between two colors like from blue and red and it change all the time between this. You can set also the time or the move of the, the fading. And the third option is you can, uh, uh, not sorry, the second option is you can fade once to a color. And you can set up the smooth of the color, how it is fading, and a lot of things that you can uh, set up in Vox Commando. But now I will show you how you can fade to a color. Computer, fade once to color green. So you can see it fade really smooth to the color green from blue. Computer fade multiple to color red. Now it's fading from green to red and from red to green back all the time. It takes a bit longer, so I set up it with Vox Commando. And now back to green. To, to, hold, uh, to stop this effect is the same, you can say, computer, stop effect. So now let's go back to the last color you have chosen, it was red. And what can you do? Ah, it's also you can let Vox Commando choose any color and uh, Vox Commando give you the name of the, of the color. So, because it uses this big table, in my case, with the 250 colors or so, and if, uh, and if you set a um, color by your own things, like you, you, you do the blue, the red, and the green LEDs set to 255, or whatever, you mix some color by yourself, this is what I mean. So Vox Commando can save also this in this map table everything by voice. But now I will demonstrate uh, the auto color in Vox Commando. Computer, chose any color. I have set the color to cornflower blue, maybe you like it. Computer, next color. Now the color is set to steel blue. Computer, next color. I have set the color to white, maybe you like it. Computer, next color. I have set the color to thistle, maybe you like it. Okay, and now I will show you how you can create your own color. Uh, you can do this with Fox Commando. If you mix all the color green, blue and red, so let us start and I will show you how this works. You can also save this name 
by Vox Commando, back Vox Commando check first the database if this uh, color is excess, uh, exist and ask you if you are sure to rename this color or whatever. So let us start. Computer, red 100. The value for red is set to 100. Now choose a value for green. Computer, green 75. The value for green is now set to 75. Choose a glass to value for blue. Computer, blue 200. The value for blue is now set to 200. Now we check first if this color is exist. Computer, what color is this? Could not find a name for the current color. Computer, name color plum. Are you sure plum is the right name for the color? Computer, go ahead. The printed color is now named plum. So, now we need, when I change to uh, other color, computer, change to color green. And now I can go back to my self-created color. Computer, change to color plum. You can see this is the color which we have created before. There are a lot of stuff that you can do uh, with this RGB control and box command, it's a uh, really nice thing. It's works, worked really cool. I like this and I hope you like it too. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me. Thanks for watching. Bye.